Hi, this is Ken, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a letterpress effect in Adobe Illustrator. Um, we start by uh, creating a background. Uh, it can be any color. Um, let me go ahead and choose the light blue right there. And um, next, what you need is a small square usually the same color that's how we start uh, let me zoom in so you can check out what's going on there uh, let me get rid of that stroke and we have that square right there so uh, the main thing that you want to do is that you want to create the fill of this uh, square to be darker than the background so double click on the color picker and then uh, drag down until you are satisfied with the color you click OK and then the letterpress effect um, looks nice because it basically looks like it's something that is being pressed onto something uh, so on the top it usually has a darker line and at the bottom uh, a lighter line that creates that embossing effect so what we need to do uh, to create that is uh, go to your appearance palette usually it's on the right on the right hand side if it's not go to your window menu uh, and then click on the appearance palette and then that should show up someplace on the screen um, so now with the item selected we want to go ahead and pull down on this drop down menu and then you want to add two fills so you have now three fills the first one is the main color of the effect the second one is going to be the top dark line that I told you about and then the bottom one is going to be the light line that goes at the bottom so with uh, the uh, square selected and with this fill selected uh, you want to double click on the color picker again and remember this needs to be darker than the fill color so pull down until you're uh, happy click OK um, then with the object still selected and with the third fill uh, right here chosen you want to double click on the color picker and this time we are going to go up and usually go pretty far up you know because this color needs to be lighter than the background right here so click OK uh, the next uh, step is to make sure that we can see those lines at the bottom and the line on the top as well so with the object selected with the square and then with this last fill uh, right here you want to go to effect distort and transform and then click on transform and uh, what you want to do is move this uh, vertical so you want to add uh, you want to put in one um, for the value you can do more than that it's you know and uh, you know whatever you like you know or whatever you think is going to look best so the one is the one uh, that works for me uh, just go ahead and click OK uh, and then right here click on that second or the middle second or middle fill and again go to effect you want to go to the storm transform and then transform and this value right here is uh, it needs to be a negative number because it's going to move that fill up so you want to go minus one or whatever number you chose on the first uh, um, fill uh, you want to make sure that you choose on this one so they match then you click OK and the effect is done if we move this right here you can see that it looks like as if this has been pressed onto this background now the one of the cool things that you can do is that you can go to your graphic styles again if it's not here on the right hand side you can go into your window menu and then uh, select the uh, graphic styles from here so you can uh, get to it now what you want to do is take this square and drag it over now this becomes a graphic style that you can actually save uh, so you can click there and save graphic styles um, so 
if we are not going to do that right now let me go ahead and show you by creating two stars let's go ahead and change the color it doesn't matter so you have that star right there it looks pretty uh, simple but once uh, you make a, a copy of that star and then click on the effect you can see how it has those grooves the black lines and then the white ones that makes it uh, pop uh, out of that background uh, you can do the exact same thing with text just go ahead and let me go uh, make it a little bit larger so you can see it click on the effect and there you have it pretty simple uh, so I hope that you like uh, this tutorial if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and uh, thank you for watching